I'm about to spend $5,000 in the next five minutes buying the weirdest tech on the entire internet. And then we're gonna test it. Okay, let's start with Etsy. Cause I know this looks like a really family friendly store, but this website gets weird. Wow. This is why I love Etsy. It tests the limit of creativity. <laughs> I, want, I want it all. I want it all. I think we've just found the pinnacle, the infinity dodecahedron. I can't even imagine what this would be like to hold in your hand. <laughs> Type in weird gadgets. We just got Nicolas Cage on a spoon. So someone is 3D printing guns that shoot Tic Tacs. Why not? World's first emotional party mask. This is rather terrifying. Probably not my kind of party, but let's try it. It's making me think actually. What if we can use the internet to create the most outrageous tech outfit? Yeah, maybe not. Now that is actually cool. Let's, uh, let's get this one and see how well the fiber optic works. I think it may be time to enter the weirdest site of them all. Hello, wish.com. Laser glove. Some shoes. <laughs> These look ridiculous. Can't believe I'm gonna buy them. Go on then, let's go gold. Okay, let's move past the LED outfit. Let's go for just weird gadgets. We've got a device here that turns your toilet brakes into a rave. Let's get that. We've got a device here that you can apparently put your batteries inside of and it will tell you the amount of charge left. I can't be the only one who had no idea this existed. We've got some very unusual bike seats. Creative egg lamp. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can't be the only one seeing this. I think we have to buy it to be sure. That is quite the warning light. Let's have a look at some novelty USB sticks. Those can normally get pretty strange. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, it, technically that is what I was looking for. Weird earphones. What is that? It's an, a bone conduction ear hook. Let's try it. Wireless mushroom speaker. Ah, it also sticks onto the back of your phone. For three dollars, might actually be quite a good product. Hmm. Isn't it just crazy to think that there are people out there whose entire job is to design stuff like this? Anyways, I think it's time we move over to Amazon. Got a real assortment here. There is a Bob Ross toaster, which toasts Bob Ross's face onto your bread. Wow. Uh, the Kubo, it has a heartbeat. What is this? So this is basically a pillow that when you hug it, it tries to recreate the feeling of hugging an actual animal. So it has its own heartbeat. It responds to sounds. It even like wags its tail apparently. Who is this for? There's a company here called Ninebot, which has some of the strangest vehicles I've ever seen. A self-balancing wheel. I don't even quite get how that keeps you upright. And then they also do something called electric hover shoes, which, I mean, that literally looks and sounds like something straight out of a movie, but I've never heard of them. Oh, you can actually buy a physical handset for your mobile phone. Uh, <laughs> why? Then you have to connect it using a USB-C adapter. That is bizarre. This is fascinating. So you can actually buy a belt that detects when you're falling and then inflates an airbag inside of it to protect you from that fall. It's like a superpower. I cannot believe this is a real product. The Pavlock 3. You basically wear it around your wrist like a normal wearable device, but as well as tracking all your stats, it can give you electric shocks to try and get you out of your bad habits. This is a shock collar for humans. What? I mean, yeah, I've got some bad habits. Let's let's see if it can get me out of them. What am I signing up for? There's a gun here, which basically uses ordinary table salt as ammo, doesn't require any batteries, and can shoot that table salt out to get rid of insects. I have like a thousand questions. Ha. Huh. Okay, so this, it's called Automatone, is a, a Japanese musical instrument that can apparently sing. You can kind of adjust the pitch and the bass with your fingers. Definitely one of those we need to see in person to, to be able to understand it. My God, this is gonna be a very odd unboxing experience. I can't believe I actually bought this stuff. I'm only just realizing how strange it is now that I can see it sitting on my desk in front of me. So let's start weird and keep getting weirder. Kicking things off with Kubu, what looks to be a replacement for your pet. All right, so here's Milo. He's kind of soft, a little biteier than I would like. Also absolutely covers you in cat hair. And here's Kubu. Oh, you are real soft, aren't you? He wags his tail when you stroke him. He's getting a bit excited now. That's enough for you. It's just like a real cat, but it actually does what you want it to do. Sorry, Milo. If you think that's odd, 
we're about to make some very strange slices of toast. This is the Bob Ross toaster, and it is begging an obvious question. Is the face gonna taste different to the rest of it? Only one way to find out. God, that got hot quickly. What the? What the f Bob! <laughs> Just happened. <laughs> oh my God. Fully looks like we got the wish.com version of the photo we were promised. The outside tastes fine, but the face is... To call that burnt would be a compliment. This is really heavy. But I'm so excited about these two. The world's weirdest vehicles, I guess. So first up are the hover shoes, which can apparently whisk you away at 12 kilometers per hour, or three times the speed of walking. And then the even more expensive and even more capable solo wheel unicycle. If the unboxing experience is this dangerous, I'm slightly scared for the riding experience. And the crazy part of this one is that they're saying it's going to fly me around at twice that speed, 24 kilometers per hour. It soiled my desk. What the hell, man? Both of these are gonna need charging up. So, we'll stick them on now and come back to them at the end. Okay, time for a lightning round. Those TVs have not been working this entire time, have they? <laughs> Let's try that again. These are the cheapest weird gadgets. 200 seconds on the clock, let's go. So first up, this mushroom is a $3 Bluetooth speaker. But what on earth does a $3 speaker sound like? Good if you could turn it on. Oh, the eyes are buttons. It's got a sticky pad. So, I mean. Okay, slightly louder and slightly bassier than my phone. Better than I expected. Ah, the creative egg lights. So yeah, I mean, for $3, I see no reason not to get a pair of these lights. But hey, I mean, if your goal is to get people on the road to notice you, they're not gonna be able to look away now. It's perfect. Right, then we've got the battery capacity tester. All right, so here we got a battery that I know is full because I got it straight from the pack. And it does tell me it's 100%, so it works. So let's try the one that's inside my TV remote right now. It's got about 90%. Pleasant surprise. Now, as dumb as I know it sounds, this toilet aromatherapy LED kit actually has the potential to be a game changer product. Just need to clean the toilet before this scene. Right, so I've set this all up and I know I kind of bought it as a joke, but I'm gonna use this. So for starters, it has a motion sensor, which means that it can keep the LED off until you get within three meters of the toilet. It has an aromatherapy feature, which is basically a scented tablet that you put inside of it. It's not nice, but it is effective. It smells like what I imagine lemon bleach would smell like. This is not planned, but I've just realized I actually have lemon bleach sitting right here. Yes, it's that. But the cherry on top, the reason this has two lights at the bottom is that one of them is a UV light. So once a person has come and activated the RGB lights, it waits for them to leave and then uses the UV to sanitize after them. Box me. Well, it doesn't get much weirder than this. A phone for your phone. I can't believe people actually buy this. Like, I'm sorry, but can you imagine? Hello, hello. It's kind of my point. <laughs> Ah, a Wish.com special. This is the $3 ear hook we ordered. Never seen an audio device like it. Is it about to be the next big thing? So I think you just slip it over your ear. That can't be it. That's gotta pick up my mouth. How is this the manual? Ah. This is interesting. It's got a really open sound to it because your ear is not being obstructed in any way at all. But because the speaker unit is therefore so far away from your eardrum, it's also not very immersive. Probably a better puzzle than it is an earphone. But this Tic Tac gun has got to be the weirdest cheap gadget of them all. Why would you want to shoot a perfectly tasty Tic Tac? And more pressingly, why is there a tiny child in the packaging? Well, it definitely feels cheap. Kind of like it was 3D printed in someone's living room. But that's not to say anything about the performance. That can't be right. Okay, we're in. Pull back the lever to load. And I think we just fire. Ah, I'm just trying to shoot the camera. It's really not very powerful. Let's see if it can pierce a target. Come on. Okay. I just failed to smash the subscribe button. So you don't have to. Wait, that doesn't work. Hmm. <laughs> Don't do that. Okay, Loki, this is what I've been most excited for. We bought an absolute truckload of LED gadgets. So let's get them on and use them to create the most ludicrous LED outfit. 
I believe these are the LED shoes. Goodness me. I feel like I'm meant to hate these, but I'm kind of embarrassed that I don't. I genuinely can't tell if these will make you look like royalty or like you're homeless. Ah, the light switches are hidden on the inside of the buckle. Three, two, one. Hmm. <laughs> They really are something. That's about as good as they're gonna get. All I can do is rack my brain thinking, why don't I hate this? Right, of course there's an SOS mode. Okay, let's get them on. That's our infinity mirror. Oh wow, wait, that's a lot smaller than I was expecting. Spots on the inside that counts though. It's actually cute. It's a little bit more plasticky than I would like for a $100 plus gadget. Well, it better perform well, I'm just saying that. That is mesmerizing. It genuinely looks like it goes on for an entire meter on the other side and it's so trippy to see that it doesn't. Fascinating. So the way that this apparently works is you have two mirrors on either side and then a ring of LEDs sandwiched in between them. But what makes this so interesting is that these mirrors are one-way mirrors. So you can look into them the same way you would look into a window but on the inside the LEDs are bouncing back and forwards and back and forwards between the mirrored parts of these one-way mirrors. Okay but if you think that's complex I feel like this next one is going to fry our collective minds. This one's actually bigger than I expected. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's so cool. So it's meant to be a really similar concept, but instead of just two mirrors bouncing the LEDs back and forth, this is based on a dodecahedron, which has 12. You ready for a peel compilation? I'm gonna need a change of clothing. Now I've made sure not to look at any photos since the moment that I bought it, so I'm kind of going in a bit blind here. I'd only be half surprised if this opened up a wormhole to another dimension. Oh my God. Gosh, wow. What am I looking at right now? Let's get some lights off. It's responding to my voice. The things I could do with this power. I genuinely feel like Dr. Strange right now. I'm calling it right now. This is the coolest gadget that has ever entered this building. Oh, wow. What is going on? <laughs> I think I've got to put it down before I get carried away by the power. But we still have our stupidly expensive hoodie to test. That looks far less cool than I thought it would. Why do I have a cone on my head? This is such a strange material for a hoodie. Why is it sleeveless? It comes with a remote. Very interesting. So we connect that up to the remote. We are ready to go. I'll show you this in action once we've got all the products on. So then we have the laser glove. This is getting wild. I'm actually very confused as to why someone would need this, but here goes. This does not look safe. It genuinely looks like it was made in someone's garage. So the glove is on. What's with the studs? I'm gonna point this away from you just cause I don't want you to die. We have lasers and now I'm gonna press this button. Whoa! That must be spinning extremely fast for it to create consistent circles like that. This kind of feels like a superpower. You could actually hold your arm out and literally blind anyone who looks at it. Or yourself if you're not careful. Let's power you down for a minute. What a bizarre invention. <laughs> so then we have our piece de resistance. It's being sold as world's first emotional party mask, which yeah, I mean, I promised you weird tech. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, this this feels kind of cool. The mouth is moving to what I'm saying. Oh my gosh, when I blink, it blinks as well. Ah, and then when you shake your head, it lights up red and says no. And then if I nod my head, it lights up green and says yes. I get it. It's making it so that if you're at a loud party and you're trying to talk, you don't need to shout to be heard. You can just gesture. There is also a companion app. So you can pick from a bunch of different static displays. Oh, there's a matrix one. This is kind of scary, right? Got a heart line. I mean, like, imagine walking across me like this in a dark alley. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> I can go sad. This is confused. And this is a cat. Meow. And then finally, this is equalizer mode, which should be pretty self-explanatory. That's also reacting to my voice, isn't it? <laughs> imagine my evil laugh right now. <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. This is the most useless, incredible outfit I've ever owned in my life. The shoes are kind of making me want to dance, but the robot inside me doesn't know how. Dramatic robot moonwalk out of here. I got stuck on the carpet. All right. Well, that is surprisingly realistic. Oh, I get it. It's a thumb drive. <laughs> I am captivated by this one. This gun right here fires salt. It can apparently eliminate flies and other pests, but because salt is so fine, it won't damage furniture or windows. This is a nice gun. They've clearly put a lot of thought into the ergonomics and the, the feel of using it. The improper use of this gun can result in serious bodily injury. I don't get it, it's salt. <laughs> Loaded up with table salt. Does this make it an assault rifle? 
a joke. Why does a salt gun have a safety catch? What? I heard salt falling. It's a beefy reload as well. Oh. My table is covered in salt. You can tell from that slow-mo cam that it is making proper impact. It's a good thing I'm actually really hungry right now. <laughs> All right, we're in the top five. These are the craziest of the crazy products we could find on the internet. I have so many questions about this one. This is apparently a Japanese musical instrument, but I can't quite see how. <laughs> Very nice, easy packaging. Batteries are included. One, two, three. Now what do you do? What, what is it? <laughs> I can't be the only one who thinks this is wildly inappropriate. I feel like someone's gonna call the cops if I do this much longer. No words. Well, this is by far the most expensive belt that I've ever bought. To be fair though, if it can save someone's life, I'm not complaining. Okay, so fastening the belt like this activates the electronic mechanism. It's live now. I'm about to fall over on purpose to see if this can save me. <laughs> this is really hard to do. Please protect me, please protect me, please protect me. Ah! It worked! <laughs> wow, I'm alive! Thank you, Yorkshire Care Equipment. Oh, my creative egg lights. <laughs> They've actually managed to make falling fun. And now I've got a toilet seat attached to me. <laughs> okay, these are ready. I'm not sure I am. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea how this works. Oh God, oh God, have I got this on backwards? Okay, so you just tilt forward to move forward, tilt back to move back. It's just very fast. Here goes nothing. One, two. Ah, this was my fear. What do I do here? Um, guys, guys. Ah. Oh God, oh God. This is not what I thought I'd be doing today. Oi, come back here. Okay, if I can get to the unicycle, I get to upgrade to it. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm doing it. This is, this is okay. This is fine. Ha! Huh. How do I stop? How do I stop? How do I stop? That counts, right? <laughs> we can title this video, my first time twerking. Okay, unicycle unlocked. Now I'm scared. <laughs> RGB everything. So the slightly tricky thing about this one is that if I just put one foot on, it's gonna go in that direction. So I've gotta get both feet on at the same time. Ah. That wasn't me. Okay, I mean, I'm on, technically. Goal one is to stand up. It's harder than it looks. Okay, a wall, good, good. That feels good. Forward, back, <laughs> cut that. <laughs> this is it. If I can get to the other side, I get to move on and test our final gadget. I know that the answer is confidence. I've got to just stand up all the way and not half commit. All right, all right, okay. Confidence, 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 up. Oh, okay, Whew. come on, no, no, I'm up, I'm up. No, 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 no. I'm at a stage now where I'm not even scared anymore. I just want to do this. There is no way we're quitting now. I'm going to use the fact that I'm not scared anymore to just get up straight away. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Core strength, core strength. Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm just, ah. Oh. Oh. It's just two meters. Okay. 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 It's just me. It's just me. It's just me. I feel like I set myself this insurmountable obstacle and then actually pushed until I did it. That feels amazing. <laughs> I can't believe this is a real thing. This band right here, it apparently uses electrocution to force you to keep your habits. So it's kind of like a fitness tracker. It records things like your sleep quality, but the difference is that if I've told it that I have a problem with biting my nails, for example, ah, flip! That's like a really hard pinch. Oh God, ah. <laughs> what are you? To see me buying the biggest tech on the entire internet, that video's here, and I'll see you there.